Okay, today I'm going to show you how to put your bullnose corner on your drywall corner, all right, and how to cut a 45. There's a best kept secret that most of these drywall guys don't want you to know. I'm going to show you how easy it is to put this bullnose and set it on the corner, whether it's overhead or on an outside corner on a wall. But first we're going to show you how to cut your 45s to fit the inside corner. All right, we're going to take the speed square. All right, and the bottom of your speed square here becomes your long point. All right, so you just put it the straight edge against the straight edge. All right, butt it up against it, come right to the corner, and then draw your line. And draw this line about halfway down. All right, then we're gonna then we're going to just take this and roll it all right now you don't want to follow it all the way through okay so what you want to do is at this point all right you want to come over here and you just kind of take this and you just kind of swoop it down a little bit you just kind of curve it all right make this curve all right, first you need some cutters. You want some straight ones, ones that cut straight. All right, now you just cut straight into this here. All right, now you start cutting and curving it. All right. Cut about halfway in, then bring it around and cut down from your corner. All right, and just come into it. right in here to it okay you just snap it off now I've already pre-cut all right long point to long point now I'm going to match up the point I just cut here as you see there identical all right or close to it i'm going to flip this around and i'm going to take this and i'm just going to now draw this in all right i'm going to take this here and this is 20 inches to the inside 24 to the long point okay so i just bring this out here and bring this on over all right, now I'm going to cut this and we're going to install it. Okay. Now we're going to, I'm going to cut this again. All right. Pause. Okay, I've cut this halfway through, just about. And now I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to cut this and come into it. This paper is not wanting to cut. I can, you can use a razor knife. All right. All right, now we're just coming down. All right, sometimes it can be kind of awkward, but you just cut right into that point. Now, I cut it almost all the way through, and you just snap it off. Bam, there we have it, all right? Now let's install this. All right, sometimes with little boogers in the metal in the fear, you gotta work with them. Pliers would have been better. All right, now, there you go. As you see, 45 and straight across off that corner, and that's what you're wanting, all right? Now I'm going to show you how to secure this to your drywall. Okay, this is the best kept secret. This is how you stick your bullnose to your drywall corners. Take your mud and fill the groove. And you don't, you can do it all the way, or you can just do it, you know, in a few different locations as you go. Man, I'm just going to do it in each end and in the middle. 
Okay. Now, now that you have it, did it turn properly outside corners? Go outside. All right. Long points outside corners. All right. Outside. Now, watch this. It's position where you want it, and bam, and there it is. Okay. Now, just take your trial. Mud on it, spread it across, and voila. Okay, again. And you've already buttered the back side of the drywall bull nose, the corner, corner bead. All right, from the drywall mud you put in the inside of that drywall. Now, I'll show you something else. Your scrap, this is a cutoff, all right? I've got drywall here. You can try to scrape it off with your broad knife here, you know, but that takes too much time. Just take this, lay it on here, and just scrape it. Wham, you're cleaned off. So remember to use the ends. You can also use a piece of your drywall of your tape from for your money taking you could use this as well right you bend it and come across the bull nose all right now we're going to put on the bigger this longer side all right so this is coming in here all right this way okay and we're going to get that you see there there's your bull nose right there Okay, there's your corners. And that's how it's going to come out. Just got to work it. Okay. And again, I'm just going to take this mud, put it right here at the end. All right. I'm going to come over here. Put some in the middle. And then over here at the end. There we go. All right. You should know better. I'm going to rework that now. Okay. And here it is. See that. Well, then, put that position where you want it. Bam. Now you can also take a staple nailer, a, a nail gun that's designed to take staples, and you can also use staples on the outer edges of your paper about three inches apart, and you can do it that way, okay? But as you see, you don't have to do it that way. This, this is the best kept secret. This is what the drywall guys don't want you to know. And uh, you see in it here, I need to do tips and tricks. And you see everything up close and personal. Get these laid down. Um, you're not laying down. You just come on, just bring it on back. All right. I'm just going to put a little board. I should have put my mud on the wall and prepped it first, and I wouldn't be doing this now. Okay, that's where I went wrong. I should have put that mud right here to start with. And I wouldn't be having this issue. Okay, so put your mud on your edges first, and then put your bone mud on. You won't have that problem. You won't have to do it. But see how easy a fix it is. All right. Now I can just come back and mud and tape it. Mud to tape. 
All right, you bring this book at an angle and clean that off. Bam, there you go. All right, and again, take this, bring this here, clean it off. And the full nose is clean. All right. Now I'm going to do this edge here. Just gonna... Oh, we're making a mess. This is what you don't want to do for guys. It's raining on you. All right. Now. Now I've got that mud all over the bullnose. Again, just take this cutoff piece and run it across. They try to sell data pieces you can buy, but you don't need to buy anything. All right, well, thanks for watching. I'm gonna finish putting this on, clean up, and uh, remember easy two tips and tip tricks. Like, share, tell a friend. It's a win, win, win. Bye for now. Look forward to hear from you.